I've come back into the gym and a few people have said, oh, I thought you'd be fatter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, I just thought you'd be really fat by now. And I was like, well, I'm definitely put on a kilo or so. It's like I went with the close to a six pack and now I've got like... Close maybe, to maybe a like, six pack, all right. Maybe yeah. like, <laughs> Turn it up. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, I've got maybe like one pack left. <laughs> every week, every week one would just disappear. And I was like, oh. But again, it was all worth it. But I suppose one of the things is like the thought process about what I thought when I was going away. I knew what the month would be. Mm. I knew exactly who I was when I was in the UK. I know exactly that it was nice weather. Everyone would be making such a big effort to come and see me. I know I'd be drinking a lot and I knew I'd be eating a lot and snacking a lot because the crisps in Australia, I mean, I love Australia, but your crisps are horrendous here. That's chips, chips for the Australians. Yeah, <laughs> in comparison to the UK. So everything I was eating was like nostalgic. Yeah, thought process. So I knew I was going away. Mm. I, knew, I knew that that was going to be the case. And I had no thoughts that I would be able to just stay in necessarily the shape I was in. And that wasn't necessarily the case. I was going away for a month, right? But there's some things that to think about is like who I am as a person. So I drank a lot more, which most people do when they go away or they enjoy good food and they, they overeat. Great, wonderful, enjoy yourself. But you can still do those basic things, right? Yeah. I went to the gym three or four days per week. I had a smoothie every day because fruit in it. Health. Uh, health. <laughs> Healthy. But again, just getting up and doing those two basic things most days was extremely valuable to me. Also, every meal that I've had in a, probably the last 10 years plus has had protein in it. So I still always picked the, the option that had the most protein. Mm. I still made good decisions around my nutrition and some I made terrible decisions. People worry too much. Yeah. People worry far too much. We see it on a weekend, right? They have one weekend away, like, I've just lost a program. How? How? If you're in a deficit of around 500 calories per day, you're in a 3,500 calorie deficit. You overeat by 3,500 calories in that weekend. You are only back at maintenance weight. You'd have to eat another 3,500 calories to gain one pound of fat back. So you'd have to overeat by 7,000 calories to gain one pound of body fat in that weekend. So much. So much food, right? So much. It's so much. But you don't just go into this place where your body's like, I'll eat everything. Because people go, oh, I ate 10,000 calories. I I bet you didn't. I really bet you didn't. Because if you've you've seen them people that do 10,000 calorie challenges, how much do they struggle? (laughs) It's a very rare feat to finish. All right, but everyone's yeah. oh, I ate so much on the weekend. I ate over. T-. He doesn't. Again, you should perceive that you did. You no, know, for for me, again, my I guess routine life will change a little bit when I have a second kid in five weeks, six weeks. Yep. I don't know. It's soon. Six weeks. Super super well prepared for it. <laughs> um, but again, a lot of what I do day to day will just have to take a back seat a little bit. So my training routine will change. My work routine is going to change. Sleep. But then my sleep, sleep's going to change. But again, what I, I know this is going to happen. So I just make a few decisions to make my life a little bit easier in that time. So I know like when I had Leo, I just knew that, yeah, you expect a newborn baby, you're going to be up a little bit more at night. So after dinner, I wouldn't like, chill out on the couch watching TV. I made the decision just to have my own little time to zen out and go to bed earlier, gain an extra half hour, 45 minutes of sleep that I may lose later in the evening. 